Hello, hello, hello. Yum. Mm -hmm. I finally convinced her to do a mukbang in the car. I hate doing mukbangs, but. But it's honey, fun. it's a special day. Oh, yum. Yeah. Before we get started on this video, because we're going to be sidetracked from you know where. Uh, this meal came from Sisters Cravings here in Kingsport. You local folks, they are the place. Oh, yum. Yeah, I know that. They're the place that does smoothie bowls, but then now they're starting to do on weekends like soul food, soul food pickup lunch days where you get to pick like a meat, two sides. She got like a macaroni bowl. Check them out. Yeah, um, they have all your like southern oh, no. green beets. He got fried cabbage. That fish looks the delicious. Fish looks delicious. Yeah. Honestly, this looks so good, y'all. You show them yours. Fried catfish, cabbage, and sweet potato casserole. And I got this, a side of sweet potato casserole, and then I got a, macro, a seafood macaroni bowl. Yum. It has crab, shrimp, and scallops, and then fried shrimp on top. Honey. <laughs> we both did the perfect amount. That looks delicious. I know that. That's fried shrimp on top? Yeah. Yum! Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, y'all need to check this out. So, honey, before we get into it, I Let's do want to try a bite. can't believe she's never had fried cabbage, but she doesn't like vegetables that are not fully cooked. Oh, my. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you didn't get the macaroni. I thought about it, but mm. I really wanted cabbage number one, and I wanted sweet potato casserole number two. Wow, sisters. And I love them. They're the most precious people in the world. Mmm. That cabbage is so seasoned. Sometimes fried cabbage can be really bland. This ain't bland, but honey, what did I expect with Esther and Alicia at the mm -hmm. helm? Mmm. Mine's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I want to try the sweet potato casserole, did you? Mm-mm. In our gas station fountain drinks. I'm pretty picky about my sweet potato casserole, y'all. Mmm. Yum. Not overly sweet, mm -mm. but not bland. It tastes like fall. I don't know mm -hmm. how else to describe that. That beats the kitchen's yes. sweet potato oh, casserole. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the kitchen's is almost too sweet for me. Mmm. Sisters. Not that we ever doubted you, but. I wish they would do this every single day. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try this fish. Look at, this is two pieces of this, Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want you to try them. Oh my God. I want you to have a bite of this. Mm. I want you to have a bite of this. That is, without question, the uh -huh. best fish I've ever had. Mm -mm. I mean, better than the kitchen? Yeah. The breading is better. Have a shrimp and have some macaroni. That is. You have to eat the macaroni by itself because it's got other seafood in there. He loves a baked macaroni too, and mm -hmm. that's what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. This is, I feel like this is gonna be like one of those days, like when we went to that bakery mm -hmm. and loved it so much that we went back in just to be like, mm -hmm. that was amazing. We can write on their little Facebook walls too yeah. and tell them we did a video and post it. Yep. Um, this is all absolutely delicious. He loves a baked macaroni, which is why I was shocked he didn't get the macaroni as one, as one of his sides. I can't Can resist. you taste all the seafood in there, though? Yes. I can't resist. Um, mm, you don't even need tartar sauce on that fish. That breading. I need to know about that breading. I need to know what that is. We all know I'm too lazy It's got to a do little it. spice to it. Like a little Louisiana kick to it, almost. Mmm. Mmm. Am I right or am I wrong? You are right. Um, no, excuse me. It's much better than the kitchen, I'm telling you. Love the kitchen. Oh, love the, love ki the kitchen. Love the kitchen. I know, let's try this. I'm shrimp. so glad we decided to do this today. Mmm. We've got a very busy day. Tell them. I want you to tell them. It's not my story to tell. Zoom in. I mean, you. Well, well that's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honey, you heard it right. This is not an April Fool's joke. October 1st, I am getting married. Everybody's like, 
rewinding it. They're like, wait yeah, a minute. Yeah, they're like, I didn't hear that. Wait right. a minute. 15 seconds back. What? Rewind it. Um, I am getting married to a lieutenant at the sheriff's office that I work at. Um, he and I have been friends ever since I started working there. And, honey, we have had a journey. To say the least. I always tell people, like, when my friends ask, they're like, who's Mackenzie Marion? I'm like, oh, she, uh, she met him at the jail. And they're always like, <laughs> I'm like, he works there. Yeah, not an inmate. Um, he's a lieutenant. He's also a county commissioner. Honey, I brought home a politician and a police officer home to my dad. He was thrilled. Um, we knew that we wanted to get married. And one night, we were sitting in the blow-up hot tub that we purchased for his back porch. And we were just talking. And I have I own my own house. He owns his own house. So, we were just kind of talking about logistics and stuff. Like, when we got married, we we didn't have a ring. We didn't do any of that um, yet. And he was like, do you want to be stressed out for six weeks or six months? He's like, because I know you. And if we get married in six weeks, you'll be stressed for six weeks. If we get married in the spring in six months, you're going to be stressed then. And I was like, it's a really good point. So, then I called Tyler. Honestly, honey, ultimately, Tyler's the one that made this decision. Honestly, hate the idea of a spring wedding, truly. Yeah, and fall is my seat. We both, fall is our seasons. I've always had this, like, I want to get married in October mindset ever since I wanted. Or, honestly, winter. But then you're going to be paler. Yeah, October but, is my favorite month of the whole year, and I would just like to say that my anniversary is in October. Mm. That's kind of silly, but it did play a part. But the main part was... Never in the summer. Yeah. And I don't want to do a destination beach when... Love mm -hmm. y'all to do that. That's great for you. It's not me. No. I don't want to be hot. I don't even like the beach that much. I wanted summer. a wedding dress with long sleeves, and like I... I just had this whole vision in my head, and I was like, if we get married in the spring, none of that can come true, and what kind of colors am I going to do in the spring? Yeah. You know, like, everything that I want to do you is might just be, fall. you might be tan, but, like, the people in your wedding are going to be pale. We're all getting spray tan, so it won't matter, but... I am thrilled about that, honestly. Mm -hmm. mm. Does she know one of them is a man? Is a man? No, but, honey, she won't care. I'll tell her. But, he was like... What, really, I called Tyler and I was like, "When's the best time to sell my house?" And he was like, "Now." Because, honey, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but the interest rates right now are absolutely ridiculous. They are. They are ridiculous. And I was like, "Okay." So I talked to Michael, and <clears throat> he was like, "We need to get the most for your house. Let's just go ahead and do it." And so he was like, "What do you think about October?" And I was like, <gasps> "You're like October of next year. Love it." Yeah, he was like, no, let's just go ahead. He was like, if, you, if you're sure you want to marry me, he's like, I'm sure I want to marry you. And I was like, yeah, I'm sure I want to marry you. He's like, how's October? So, honey, October 1st, it's just the date that worked out. We already had a cruise planned and paid for October 15th. Um, open enrollment for insurance at work, which where we work at and, you know, joining together on insurances and things like that. Open enrollments in October. Like, everything just kind of pointed to October. So... We did it. We're going to do it. Um, and we had kept our relationship <laughs> a secret at work. Because, honey, if you've ever dated or been with somebody from your workplace, especially a sheriff's office, people are going to talk. So we, for the most part, kept that out of work. So the first time that a lot of our coworkers knew we were together was when we put a wedding invitation in their mailbox. So that was or, also kind of fun. Or when I sent out the group invitation for the bachelorette party. I hadn't even told my sister. I didn't tell my sister. Um, or any of my closest friends. I had just told Tyler. And he was like, I want to plan a bachelorette party. And I was like, okay. Well, I didn't know that meant that that night he was going to send out a text message to everyone that he knew I would want to come to my bachelorette party. And that's how they found out that I was getting married. <laughs> but honestly. Oh, it was fine. Like, this whole thing. Nothing have you ever heard of anything more me? No, I haven't. And nothing in my life has ever been conventional. I'm going back in there and kissing all them in the mouth before I we know. leave. Nothing in my life has ever been conventional. Nothing has ever been by the book. Nothing has ever been simple or traditional. So, why not me getting married on a whim? But, I will say, <laughs> for whatever reason, every single thing has worked out perfectly. And that gives me such a peace. 
the place, the event, the first dress the I party, put on, the dress, the food, the location, the decorations, the parents' attitude. Oh, our parents, both sets of parents, were absolutely thrilled. They didn't question us. They were like, "We're in total agreement with y'all. If this is what you want, then we're we're here to support you however we can." My poor father has reached deep down into his wallet um, to help me do exactly what I he want. He can afford it, y'all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't be feeling sorry for Phil. Love him, but honey, <laughs> he can't afford it. He can, but... <clears throat> and that's the father's father of the bride's responsibility. It is. However, I have to say, the church he pastored for 24 years completely screwed him over and didn't give him any kind of retirement, so... If any of y'all are watching, no thanks to you. And you're not invited to the wedding. You can no. send a gift. To the link we'll have down below, but. Mm -hmm. so, y'all, yeah. you two people can. I mean, I know you want to feel like you want to be here in person, but honey, if you uh, feel so inclined and God leads you to it, you can look at her Amazon list below. Is it Amazon? Um, it'll be my wedding website. And I have my Amazon linked on there. And then also something cool where we do both have homes and have our necessities. Um, there is funds on there to donate to our honeymoon fund, our home improvement fund, because we want to add a deck or a, a roof over our deck or a couple's massage on the cruise. So if that's something you would like to give to, please do not feel pressured. I love that y'all just watch these videos and love interacting with y'all. Yeah. But if that's something you want to do, because I've actually had a couple people message me on Facebook and ask about that, I'll link it below. Even if you just want to put your well wishes, y'all know I love hearing from you. And is there like a wall on there? Can you do that? Are you talking about the in, comments? Mm -hmm. So, but everything has went so smoothly, and that has been such a relief because we are doing a private ceremony. My dad is marrying us. My the only people standing up there with me for this ceremony will be my soon-to-be stepdaughter and my sister. And then with my husband will be... That's weird. Yeah, um, that is ugh, weird. Will yeah. be my soon-to-be son-in-law. Son-in-law. <laughs> son Honey, I don't stepson. Yeah, my son-in-law. <clears throat> stepson and brother-in-law. So... We'll have one kid and one sibling on each side of us, but then... And if you having... don't think I'm going to be on her side... <laughs> it's family and, like, the closest of friends. I mean, like, we have 25 people at this ceremony, y'all. Yes, Tyler will be there. And then afterwards, all that, if I had a big ceremony, who would have been my bridesmaids? We're going to take pictures. They're all wearing dresses. It's going to be cute. Tyler is wearing... A, a jacket. And a tie. And a tie. I'm fine with that. Um... And it's going to be cute. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look, hopefully, get some pants today. Of course, I don't really want to try anything on after eating this fried fish extravaganza. I know, but we got to, I got to find Michael. Honey, we've just thrown this all together. But like I said, it's been so oddly peaceful and smooth. And we're going on a bachelorette trip. We canceled our we're supposed solo to be gone trip today. Th this weekend. This weekend. Yeah. We're supposed to be gone right now. But they let us move it and upgrade to a house in Pigeon Forge. And so we're going to do that the 22nd through the 24th. Mm -hmm. And then I leave for New York on a 48 hour trip on the 25th, which 22nd through the 24th. Is that Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday night, Saturday night, mm -hmm. Sunday. And then I leave on Monday, come back on Wednesday. And then the wedding's on Sunday. <laughs> yep. He was trying to figure out, of course, he's always trying to figure out his next trip. Always. He texted me and he said, I just want to make sure there's nothing wedding related on this weekend. I might go to New York. And I texted him back. I was like, nothing wedding related other than the wedding. <laughs> it was literally the wedding weekend. That was when me and Sarah, I think, were manically trying to plan an Auburn trip. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I looked at it and I was like, I don't think that sounds familiar. Because I think Mackenzie's wedding is, like, the next week. Um, but that'll be fine. I made sure that even when I was gone from the 25th to the 27th, even if something crazy happened while I was in New York, mm -hmm. it would only affect me for like one night and I would still be back on the 28th. So, <clears throat> that's the news. Can you believe it? I can't. Can't. You can. I can, but I also can't. It's weird. It's a weird thing. Mm-hmm. 
If it's a weird thing, but like it'll be so weird listing her house. I don't care to list. Ugh. I don't care to list other people's houses. That's weird. That's like listing my own house. Mm -hmm. Like I would just feel strange about that. And I'm so sentimental about it. Like uh, I don't want anybody else to call that house their home because of how much I went through to have to find a house. <laughs> her and I both have talked about this thousands of times. For whatever reason, be it God, be it <laughs> blessings, be it spur of the moment yep. luck, we both got incredible Perfect deals houses on our us. house on my condo on, on her house <clears throat> not at the same time but kind of close yeah and like worked out uh, it was god like there's no other way that it was anything else how that worked out and i bought my condo for ninety eight thousand dollars. i just listed a condo in my condo complex the same exact layout except completely not updated mine has been uh, it Every single room has been updated in my condo. Mm -hmm. The kitchen, the bathrooms. I put that big built-in fireplace. Um, I'm redoing the laundry room right now. I put that deck on and put the flooring down, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I listed a condo that has not been updated at all for two hundred twenty-five thousand. I paid ninety-eight. If our condo sells for two hundred twenty-five thousand, it makes me want to list my condo for three hundred thousand mm -hmm. and just take that two hundred thousand dollars and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. And honey, hopefully that's what's going to happen with hers. It'll be nice to start off as a couple with a nice chunk of money in the bank. Like, a lot of people don't get to do that, so we're blessed that he has a house, I have a house. I can take the profits from mine and start our life on a good financial foot. Because I know, I know that's a lot of couples argue about money. <coughs> um, so... Hopefully that will put us in a good position to start off and we can be smart with that. We've been talking to my dad about how to invest it and different things. Honey, my dad's the best businessman I know, so. You also need to look into that Wealthfront account. Yes. But oh. that's what we're. That's, the, that's what's going on. But if you think me and him are going to stop our shenanigans, you're dead wrong. Oh, you're dead wrong. Somebody messaged me the other day from YouTube and said how happy they were because I don't know if y'all saw this or not, but a while back I did that video about Wealthfront and it's basically a savings app. There's no gimmicks. There's no nothing. It is a, it's either a 4.8 yield or a 5.05 .05 yield, depending on if you get people to sign up under your link. Um, I put all my real estate money in there and I'm making $1,200 in interest on it. So, if you're interested in that, there's no, it's not a CD, it's not investing in the stock market, it's it's a savings account where if you put your money in, it grows, you can take it out anytime you want. Mind. There's no penalty, there's no nothing. So, I will put that link in the link, I will put that link below to my code and my website. If you put any money in that, I'll get more 5.05 and you'll get more 5.05 at the end. It's not my wedding <laughs> registry link, honey, so. It'll be that and that. I am excited to shop. I'm coming to life now. I did yoga today in my yoga dome, and when I got in the yoga dome, it was 118 degrees. And for reference, when I do yoga in Kingsport, it is 100 and not even. It's 96. <coughs> Meanwhile, he's over here with his seat heater on, and I'm manically checking the weather because if it's 80 degrees on my wedding day, it won't be. I'll be so sad. But next week, the high is mid to low 70s. Fine Perfect. with that. You will not hear a complaint out of me. No. I don't know. <clears throat> and don't, don't get me wrong. I don't like it to be so cold that it's hard to do things. I just want it to be a temperature for comfortable sweatshirt wearing weather and a little bit of chill in the air. We'll get two weeks of that here. Yeah. And then it'll go straight to winter. Which, which is I'm fine. not complaining. Fine. Love winter. But our mild seasons of spring and fall, we're lucky if we get two weeks of mild fall weather it turns off bitter cold. Yep. I don't understand it. Immediately. Immediately. Um, also, I'm going to shout out. We're getting ready to do um, next week. Honey, I thought that was Wendy Potter. It wouldn't surprise me. With that, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me at all. <laughs> Could be. <coughs> um, <laughs> Look. Our photographer is Stephen West. He is the uh, one. He's an angel. An angel. He's doing our wedding pictures. Did you know that? Yeah. He's done headshots for us um, when we were in real estate together. Then when I jumped ship, he did headshots for... Didn't he do yours and Emily's? Yeah. Did his and Emily's headshots. He's phenomenal. He's, you know how like you're nervous to go work with photographers because you're like, they might be awkward. He makes you so comfortable. Uh, he's he's so angel. nice. He's an angel. Um, 
he's doing our wedding pictures and the package that we got he has a great package if you're getting married in the tri-cities anytime soon message steven we're doing an engagement shoot which oh well like two weeks before the wedding but we're doing an engagement shoot and our videographer is actually coming with us to shoot footage there oh good as well he is giving us a session to use later like a fan if we want to do a family session i guess a christmas session i don't know just another random session and then he's shooting all day coverage for my wedding cannot wait for that oh, so wow. i just wanted to throw that out if you're looking for a photographer you need to check steven also for price wise he's very reasonable um and does great work i've personally used him before so and i love how fast he is at turnaround time i know and his edits are would you like the rest of this sure his edits are wonderful um he filters without making it look like a filter if that makes sense what i like about it is once again for the vibe i'm going for which is a fallish vibe he edits <clears throat> not dark with that because that gives off a negative a warm is that a better he <clears throat> gives he, when he, he did our, warm when edits he did our fall headshots mm -hmm. that, that was wonderful yeah and uh so i'm so excited about that so i've got to find an outfit for michael um to match he doesn't the only time that we've argued throughout this wedding process is over clothing michael likes to dress nice but his idea of fashion and my idea of fashion are not the same the problem is he's a heterosexual male yeah that thinks that he has to wear baggy clothes and he doesn't <laughs> understand that if he would just wear the clothes that fit him it would look a thousand times better. His wedding outfit, y'all, he looks so good in. But I picked out every single thing, and he was mad about it. Now he knows he looks good because I've showed people and he's got compliments and he's not arguing with me. But we're trying to find an outfit for him um, to wear to pictures, so I've got to tackle that today. I was going to show y'all a picture of us. If I, Here's us with our marriage certificate. We went and got our, or our marriage license, I'm sorry. We went on our lunch break at the jail and got our marriage license. And also, when she posted that, it broke the internet because that was yeah. when most people found out she was getting married, obviously. Yeah. I don't know if it's focused. It's a little it blurry, okay. but honey, there he is in his little uniform, and I'm in my scrubs. We went across the street to get our marriage license. It's so weird. Like, I didn't even understand that's how that worked. I didn't either. I'm glad he did. I thought you got married, and they gave you, like, a certificate that day that was like, hey, you're married. No, you have to go pick it up and pay $100 for it. Oh. This is going to be my stepdaughter. She's precious. I love her. She's a diva. God is playing jokes on me because she is already running me dry money-wise. But there's Molly. She just turned 17. I'm about to barf. Um, I'm so thankful for the relationship that I have with her. She has been... We have went shopping, honey. We have, we have had fun. And then just here's my little ones. Him's bow tie's crooked, but my babies are working on their outfits. We gotta get shoes. Oh! Yeah, I know. Look how proud uh, he was. No. Shoe. That outfit stresses me. Why? Well, just because I'm just imagining it on my body. Oh, here's me and Michael again. I promise I'll be done in a minute. There we went to the West Ridge football game. And I was gonna show you. Here's Grace. <laughs> This is my oldest godson trying on. Contact at West Ridge. Oh, he's not there anymore. Uh uh. And there's my big one. Really? Wow. Got a new job somewhere, honey. Where? I'll have to ask Christy Leanne. I don't know. Lord. Yeah. So, anyways, the color. My colors are. Um, Blush and bashful. That's from Still Make Noise. Champagne all the way up to like honestly this color like a dark mauve oh look how far i can look oh, my that. lord Just love me. those shorts <laughs> um so we're doing gold champagne blush pink <clears throat> mauve which i guess you could use in a spring wedding but yeah and then navy navy and gold are like the accents the boys are wearing navy um so it's gonna be good i'm excited to show y'all pictures here's what about this no give me my fork i'll finish this it's very full 
go to sisters they only do this on saturday i don't know i don't even know if it's every saturday and honestly i think they were taking like pickups but now they're only doing like first come first serve and then they just call you when it's ready and it was perfect timing we went got a drink came back it was ready to go uh-huh loved it mm. we needed something different in kingsport everything's shutting down fat shut down oh charlie shut down see ya oh charlie's i liked never it never liked oh charlie's come on we're supposed to be getting an Aubrey's, and if that's the case, I will love it. The other sister's so cute. Did you see her eyelashes? How pretty? The little one? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She's beautiful. Yeah. Hey, girl. If you're watching this, which I doubt you are. Oh, they will. If we tell them. All right, y'all. We're getting into the 30-minute category, which means it takes 10,000 years. Oh, my God. Really? <laughs> so, 10,000 years to upload. Honey, the reason I haven't been in so many videos is I've been a little preoccupied, but... Don't worry, honey. We'll vlog the some of the bachelorette trip. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll we vlog day of wedding. I would love for Tyler to do a vlog of oh, the I'll wedding. Do a vlog. I'll do a vlog. I'll keep y'all in the loop. Um, I do want to go in there and tell them that I love them, but honey, it looks a little crowded. Love y'all. Yeah, we're off to shop, and I definitely do need caffeine for sure. So we're gonna go to Seven Brew, and then we're gonna go to Belk. And I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works because I've got a full free size item that I've never. Do. I wish we had a JC Penney's. That's the one thing that I miss here is because JC Penney's had good quality clothes and good deals. And honey, the only thing we've got now is a Belk and an NCG movie theater. And our mall is the pits. I've got to tell you, Kingsport's the pits. I love it. It was raised here. It'll always be my home. But let's see, I'm moving to Blountville, ten minutes from the Pinnacle. I'm what gonna more get can I say? Starbucks. But do you want me to take you to Seven Brew? Yeah. Lord. Oh. Well. Sorry, we're driving. Love you. Mean it. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.